Eddie Murphy was not the first choice to play Axel Foley Beverly Hills Cops. He ended up becoming the choice to play Axel Foley. I don't know who the first choice was. All right, y'all, so I'm back. Axel Foley. What we really uh, connected with is that this guy was not from Beverly Hills, right? He came from Detroit and went to Beverly Hills and just his interactions and his street savviness, right? We were able to relate to. And so we fell in love with that story of Axel Foley, you know, telling the story of, you know, this black cop has this Caucasian friend who is now in this whole drug bust thing. And he's trying to figure out who done clapped my friend, right? What's going on? What's the problem? What, what is going on? Goes to Hollywood and ends up getting into a whole row of things because he partners with uh, some folks that, you know, are not as street, street, street savvy as he is, but he's able to utilize his street savviness to then be a private detective and figure things out right? So that's the storyline. That's where we find commonalities. We find relatability points. And here's the kicker. Eddie Murphy was not the first choice to play Axel Foley in the hit blockbuster Beverly Hills Cops. He was not the first choice. The person that was supposed to play Axel Foley was actually supposed to be Sylvester Stallone. Who would cast Sylvester Stallone in that part? What ended up happening is that Sylvester Stallone wanted to rewrite the whole, well, not the whole movie, but he wanted to add action elements, which makes a lot of sense because Sylvester Stallone um, written, wrote a lot of the character for his movie, and it took him three and a half days to write it. And so he was really into, if you've seen the Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone um, biopic, he was really into creating movies and wanting to write those movies as well. So when he came upon Axel Foley, he wanted to change the name to Axel like Cunham or something. He also wanted to add in a ton of action, which we know Sylvester Stallone for, right? A lot of action movies. Books that were doing the movie that were doing Beverly Hills Cop was like, yeah, Nabra, go sit down somewhere. We're not doing all that. And they told him no. So he ended up leaving this, leaving the movie. And now we know the movie to be uh, Eddie Murphy's movie, right? That was Eddie Murphy took it over. <laughs> So I want you guys to think about something. What does that mean, right? It means that the character of Axel Foley became Axel Foley because it was first Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy used parts of himself and weaved parts of himself into the story to make the storyline as authentic and real as he could, right? He used his comedy chops. Sylvester Stallone, while I'm sure he may have a couple of chuckles in him, dang sure was not a comedian at all at all you will start to create content you'll start to infuse certain parts of yourself into your content which means your story starts to come out you first have to show up in order for it to be anything <laughs> so knowing that you guys got to understand something they rewrote this script okay <laughs> they rewrote this script to fit eddie murphy so eddie murphy i'm sure put in his own emphasis i went and i tried to do some research on it i couldn't really find very many interviews um around it i'm sure if i did a bit more i was going to do that but look this is a TikTok video when you start to talk about your story it doesn't mean that oh i ain't got nothing interesting to say i don't have you do you have ways in which you say things, you have experiences that you've gone through that may not be as interesting to you. But when you start to tell that story, it's definitely interesting. And instead of trying to document every single piece and every little part of your life, how about you just take a step back, look at things that have, you've experienced and what you've gone through and how you've gotten to where you are and start to tell that story and how that relates back to the things that you're doing for other people. We don't live through um, our life experience and things to that effect to not come to where we are. We, we live through our life experiences to get us to where we're supposed to be and it gets us to who we become, right? So when you start to talk about your story, you're talking about who you've become. You're talking about the things that you experiences, the experiences that you've gone through, the things that you have experienced. I can't talk today. Um, so really start to inf infuse that into your content, just like the they did with Axel Foley. Remember, Sylvester Stallone was supposed to be Axel Foley. Can you imagine that? Hey, get out the car. I got you. Banana in the tailpipe. 
no go full for the banana and the tool paper like that would not have worked <laughs> it was eddie murphy's role eddie murphy took it in this storytelling exercise is something that i do with my executive clients we also do trainings around this we help organizations and also individuals understand what their actual story is for their content right because you are not going to monetize anything if you cannot first build trust with someone and in order for you to build trust you have to also trust yourself to get out here and tell your story in the correct way and connect deeply with your audience you gotta monetize Strategize and monetize. Strategize and monetize.